Yeah. Have you ever had a one night stand with someone off of social media? Oh no. Tinder, yes. It's me, Adrian Jean. Before this video starts, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Please click the like button. Let's get 25,000 likes. Otherwise, I'm going to fucking jump off this balcony right now. I'm not even joking right now. Look how serious I am. So if, if you want to save a life, that's all I ask. Just hit the thumbs up. You save a life. But in all seriousness, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I talk about an app where you can actually clone and run multi-accounts of a same app simultaneously and even apply custom themes to cloned apps. So I'll talk about more of that at the end of the video. All right, so I'm joined here with... Megan. And Stacey. Stacey, and where are you guys from? Um, Yorkshire in England. Both same. Nice, nice. So we're just asking some questions on social media. So do you use social media? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, have you ever met someone off of social media? Yep. <laughs> was it a guy or a girl? A guy. I met both, to be fair. Did you pursue a relationship with them? No. No. Okay, so have you, have you ever had a one night stand with someone off of social media? Yeah. No. <laughs> How was your experience? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Do you still talk to the guy or? No. Okay, cool. All right, guys, we're just joined here with... Nugs Wanner. Awesome, man. So I'm just asking people on social media, have you have you got social media? Like, do you have any social media accounts? Uh, yes, I do. Have you ever met someone off of social media not knowing? Yes. And was this a girl or a guy? Girl. <laughs> Did you pursue a relationship with her? Uh, no. Have you ever had a one-night stand with someone off of social media? No. Okay, um, and now we're, I'm going to put you in a situation. So just picture yourself, um, you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah. And you know, you, you see her phone and you find out she has two accounts and she's hiding one account from you. What would you do? How would you feel? Pissed off. Yeah, do you know there's actually an app called Parallel Space where you can do that? No. Yeah, so it's called Parallel Space and you can clone an account and then you can actually use that account as well, but like have it more invisible. Oh, that's dope. I'm joined here with... Nimmo. Nimmo. Nim, N-I-N, just Nim. Nim. Right. That's an interesting name Thank right you. there. It's Celtic. Uh, it's Celtic. Dope. Um, do you use social media? Yes. Have you ever met someone off of social media? Yes. And was that boy, girl, or boy. both? Boy. I've met oh, probably a few people, but there's one in particular that I can think of, and that was a guy. Okay. And I met him through Tumblr. He got my Snapchat, and then I added him on Facebook. Dope. Um, did you pursue a relationship with anyone? Oh, uh, no, no. Okay. Have you ever had a, like a one night stand with someone off of social media? Yes. It, was it Facebook or? Yes. And how this did that go? Like, how was the experience? It was, a, it was, I guess it was a good experience. We still talk sometimes, but yeah. this was a while ago, so. So it's just like kind of friend zone. Yeah, a little bit. It was a bit of a friend zone. Um, have you ever met someone off of social media? A few people, but most of them are like a lot older than me. I'm 18, so usually they're over 25. And were they girls, guys, bit of a mix? Guys. And did you did you pursue any relationships? Um, yeah, uh, there's a guy that I'm seeing at the moment. He has no social media at all, which is like really weird because usually as like a young person, you know, you stalk them online and, you know, check out all their photos and stuff, and I can't do that um, and see who they're friends with and stuff. It's... All right. How'd you meet him? Um, oh, I met him at like my favourite restaurant um, and he just kind of got my number out the front and stuff. So we only talk through texting and calling and stuff. Have you ever had a one night stand with someone off of like you met on social media? I've never had a one night stand, period. What I was going to say is, have you ever had a one night stand with someone off of social media that you've never met before? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Interesting. Um, have you ever met someone off of social media? Um, can't say I have. Had quite a few friends have though, but not quite myself. No. Okay. And why is that? Um, just like I said earlier, not much of a social media fan and stuff like that. Just too lazy to use it, really. Yeah. Would you consider it if you were, you know, if someone added you randomly? Say, for instance, if it was a cute girl and she added you and you were talking for a day or something and she wanted to hang out, would you be open to that? Yeah, of course, man. Wouldn't see anything wrong with that. Oh, that's pretty good. It's like another way to actually meet people and stuff like yeah. that. Just because you haven't met them yet doesn't mean that you shouldn't give the opportunity to, I guess. Hmm. Would you ever consider a one-night stand with someone off of social media? 
Yeah, sure, why not? Do it in the bars and why not? So why not over online? I mean, that could be a dude, but you never know. And you find out your boyfriend has two accounts, two accounts of the same, say, Facebook, right? And one's hidden from you. How would you feel about that? I'd be really angry and, like, yeah, I'd just be really, really angry and, like, confront him and stuff about it. Did you know there's actually an app called Parallel Space and you can use that to clone your Facebook account and then have it as invisible? Have you ever had a one night stand with someone off of social media? Oh no. Tinder, yes. Tinder, yes. <laughs> Would you consider it again? Like is it something you'd do again, do you think? No, because I have was it like now. Okay, okay. Or was it like a time where you were just drinking or Oh no, it was just um just wanted to it's just period where I just was felt like getting out there and then for sure for sure yeah. um did you meet your boyfriend off of tinder yes actually yeah. oh you did <laughs> was he the sort of first guy you met off of tinder or you had a sort of trial and error period where you were kind of testing the waters no 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 I had a massive trial and error yeah yeah what's your worst experience Oh my god, one guy fully in all his photos had like longish hair, rocked up with like bald. And and then my I called my best friend, I was like, fucking get me out of here. My friend came over, he chickened out and was like, okay, see you guys. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're a shit friend. You're supposed to bail me out. And my friend at the time had a broken arm, so I said to the guy, I said, look, I have to take my friend to the hospital. His arm's broken. And um, yeah. You just bailed on him, just like that? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask if you've been catfished, and I guess you kind of have, because he was probably wearing a wig in his photos or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think he must have shaved it. I Did he know. look the same, like facial structure and stuff? Yeah, but like when you've got like long hair in all your photos, yeah. then bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're on the phone with him, and you're like, hey, where are you? And he's yeah. this bald dude walking towards you. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just coming up. And you look past him because yeah. that, that's a massive difference. Massive. Like you're expecting someone with long, like actual, like long hair. Yeah, like like surfer long. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not like not your long. I mean like surfer long, and then bold. Boom, and that was sort of your worst experience. Um, yeah. Did you have an experience where it's like bad sex experience? Yeah, it's and then awkward. I, yeah, and then I left at like five in the morning. Got a taxi. Did there. you tell him that you left though? Or did you just bail? You're just like, fuck this, I'm not doing this oh, anymore. Oh, I think I kind of, oh, mm, I don't remember. Oh, Actually. good times. Well, thank you. That was longer than expected. <laughs> longer than what we needed. But um, thanks for being part of the interview. All right, mates, thanks for watching that video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the thumbs up. But you guys already did that because you saved a life. Also, I'd like to thank Parallel Space for sponsoring this video now. With Parallel Space, you can log into multi accounts of social networking apps or game apps at the same time on one device. So, with that feature, you can balance between users' life and work easily. You can double users' online gaming experience and have more fun. You can also protect user privacy by making apps invisible on the device through incognito installation. So, you can hide users' secret apps without worrying about prying eyes by keeping apps only in a secret space or protect user privacy with a security lock. And one more thing, you can also create a customized sp space by applying themes. So a theme store is integrated into Parallel Space and a list of customized themes are ready for users to apply to cloned apps in Parallel Space. It is only available for Android. So if this app sounds like it'd be beneficial to you and you've got an Android device, I've left a link in the top of the description for you guys to download. I love you guys and I'll see you all next week. Oh no, I, I don't know, but I know. Sorry, I just want to look at the Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's real, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's real stuff. It's real. Let's keep talking, okay. Yeah, let's keep talking. Hey, buddy, you good? I'm a TV bro. What are you gonna be on Facebook? I mean YouTube. Is it YouTube? Which one? Yeah. Is this live? Not live, but but, yeah. but it's gonna be on, yeah. on YouTube. Oh yeah. sick. Sorry, yeah. Shout out. Do you, do you have anything you'd like to say to the world? Oh, uh, guys! The camera when you say it. Guys, I want to say something. Guys, this life we live is a real life. Guys, either, guys, if you live without Jesus, it's nothing. Jesus Christ loves you. I just want to say, you think about it and you accept Jesus into your heart. I love you guys, and Jesus loves you more. Um, don't look into the camera again. Nice.
Yeah, it's real. It's real. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, just had this thing with looking through the camera. Yeah, um, yeah. I want to say something, but I need you to ask me a question about my life, where I'm from, all these things. Yeah, where are you from? This camera right here, dude. I'm on TV. Everyone behind the screen is looking at me, dude. Awesome. Are you alright? I'll see right. you there. Wait, touch, touch on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna be right. there. I think that's. I think we've we've got quite a bit, so yeah. we're gonna cut it just because yeah. it's raining. I'm, I'm from Liberia, West Africa. I almost died. I was in a car crash. I almost died. I'm from Liberia, West Africa. I almost died in a car crash, and I've been through so many things. And about you know, I've come out of it. God has helped me, but uh, I just want to say you guys seek Jesus. Okay, I love you guys. But you, but God loves you more. So God bless you.